welcome back to my channel i'm claire and today i am very very excited hold on i say that about every single video but i have to clarify i really am excited because whenever i sit down and actually film i just like start rambling so much because i love you guys and i love every single video so i am actually very genuinely excited but anyways i am going to be talking to you guys today about popflex active by blogilates cassie ho in, in case you guys are familiar and I'm just really excited because first of all anytime I have another chance to support a woman's and like a women run or founded business I like get so excited and then even more so if it's like another Asian woman and another like BIPOC woman I just like I, I love being able to shout out different women in the space doing these amazing things and I just love it so Cassie is the kind of like figure behind uh, Blogilates. She, you probably, you guys probably know her from all of her Pilates videos on YouTube. And um, I actually have her fitness app. And first of all, I really like it. And she also recently kind of like came out with a new collection with Target. And then she also has her activewear line called Pop Flex Active. So. I wanted to sit down and review all of their stuff because I was first drawn into their collections because I found the prices to be super reasonable and I loved, loved, loved the designs that they have. I think some of the designs that they put out with is so innovative and I'm just like, this is amazing. Like, I can't believe that like nobody is talking about this more and so that's why i'm like really excited for this because i think there is some amazing stuff here um so today we're going to be talking about the sizing the fit of it the quality and at the end um with every single brand review video that i do we're going to be giving it a sustainability rating and we're going to be talking about it all so let's dive right in so first i want to say in terms of their activewear they have to me gone through a lot of changes from their earlier collections which is obviously all up and still available to some of their more recent collections so some of their more re older collections is for example like this pair of leggings in custard this is an older style that came out and also this bra called the swan bra this is from an older collection compared to, uh, for example, these pair of shorts in Mocha. And this is the Glutch Crop in Mocha. With their older collection versus their newer collections, the fit has changed a little bit. And for me, I don't mind it that much because I see Cassie on her Instagram talking about wanting to make sure the fit is right and always, you know, tweaking certain little things with every new release. So I don't feel like it's really a bad thing that things are maybe a little bit different because she is pretty much like a one woman show running her business. And I'm, I'm okay with these slight changes when it comes to a business that is like really starting to kind of like get off the ground. And I feel like it's almost just like, you have to give them a little bit of leeway to have those growing pains, those lessons that they're going to learn from. So I'm okay with it, but we're going to talk about the very specific styles that I have and what I got in each of them and how I feel. So we're going to start with this set because this is the first thing that I got and I absolutely loved it. So this is the swan bra. Okay. The reason why I love this is because I love the way that the bottom right here kind of curves and basically contours the bottom part of your bust i think is so innovative because i've seen a lot of brands like street style or just like other people styling uh like random clothes like from different boutiques like really really kind of like emphasize this kind of contour and curvature the one brand that i can think of that does as uh bra style like this is actually joa brown they have a bra called the contour bra where it does have this exact same contour on the bottom of the bust and it's super chic it looks so good and i just love that they have activewear with that same design and i feel like to me that is kind of what innovation is called you we can all come out with the same styles you know like 
bras can pretty much look exactly the same across different brands but when you come out with a style that's just innovative where it works but then it still looks super cute while being really different like i love that and I'll, i'm all for it so this is the swan bra this is in the size medium and i feel like this fits very much true to size i would say it's almost maybe a little bit looser than i would like just up ar around this actual bust area like i feel like on me i almost like feel like a little bit less secure in it um i would still wear this to go do maybe more high intensity workouts like boxing but i would just have to be a little bit more careful so um, if I was like running like a 5k or something, I definitely wouldn't be wearing this um, And same with like maybe my spin class because I feel like it's just a little bit more like a lot of extra bounce basically and This is the leggings. I have this. This is the super sculpt leggings and custard and I Love these leggings. So with their bottoms like leggings and shorts, they have two styles that I feel like is kind of like their classic what they're known for there is the super sculpt leggings and shorts and there's also the ultimate hourglass and the ultimate hourglass actually looks a little bit something like this and i'm sorry everything's wrinkly because they're just in a box but the super sculpt leggings i love the way that these feel because they have like a really cute design on the butt area where it just kind of like dips down and it contours your body and same thing with the front and i think it's tiny touches like that that just kind of elevate your entire look and i absolutely love that i think these fit great the only concern that i have with them is that around the waist area they feel a little bit looser than i maybe would normally like them to be i know that other people have made some other comments slash reviews as well just about wanting some of their leggings and um shorts to be a little bit more adaptable to women with more of like an hourglass figure where it's gonna be tighter on the waist and um still with a lot of room at the hips area i feel like i would like the same thing because naturally my body is more of an hourglass even though it doesn't always look like that um and so for me i like something that holds everything into place and would be able to have some more compression or just be almost like tapered in a little bit more at the waist area but with that being said i still really like it i recommend it and i think this is a beautiful color of yellow on most asians Yellow is a very difficult color to pull off because most of us naturally are a little bit more yellow. Not everyone, obviously, but on I think a lot of us, we pull to the warmer yellow side of it. So I think having a good yellow is really difficult. But honestly, I know that Cassie is also a fellow Asian woman. So the moment that I saw she had a pair of yellow on... Um, and one of her products that she's producing i'm like okay clearly it's gonna look good on her if it's gonna look good on her and i look like her it's gonna look good on me and it does so that is the other thing i will shout out is that i feel like this shade of yellow is so perfect and it kind of speaks to a lot of the innovation and thought that cassie puts behind all of their stuff we're gonna kind of continue down the road of the next product that i purchased and really really liked so this is the hourglass shorts in the shade duck egg so i love these shorts for two reasons first of all the design where it kind of like curves in at the front i think it's super cute and it just looks super chic and it still holds you in place. You don't feel like you're giving up performance for the sake of design with the way that these look and they just look so cute on you. And same thing with the back kind of dips down a little bit to contour you. And another reason is because they have pockets, which I think is excellent design. But the last reason is because on the inside of their shorts, they have these like little rubber material. First of all, excuse my nails. Um, this is like the first time in like two weeks I haven't done my nails and of course I'm doing like a video where I'm showing you guys things with my hands But they basically have like this little rubber um, on the almost kind of like not even stitch but just like pressed into the bottom waistband area of their pants and 
I found that this has actually helped a lot with keeping the shorts in place because when, and as you guys would know, if you like wor working out in shorts, the tendency is for them to kind of move around a lot and sometimes they'll kind of like flip up and it's just, it kind of gets everywhere and you just want it to stay. And I think with a design like this, I found that they have actually stayed put so much better than any of my other shorts that I've ever tried. And I think it's because of a combination of having this like rubber here to kind of almost cause a little bit of friction while not being uncomfortable. And the design of this is really, really good. And I think you can also kind of tell with the way that these are designed is that you do see in this waist area, it's a lot more tapered in. Um, I think one, because of the style, but also because over time the fit has got continuously gotten better. And so in these pair of shorts, I don't have much of an issue with the waistband area and I actually feel like this is very secure. And I love this set. The color is perfect and I'm just obsessed with these. The matching bra that I have looks like this and I love this. This is a glow bra and the glow bra does have the this uh, little buckle where you can adjust the straps. I personally don't love having these because I don't feel like they're as comfortable, but I can appreciate the thought of needing to have adjustable straps because I think that allows for everybody to have a lot more comfort in what they're wearing. And in terms of this bra, part of why I really like it is because they have this band at the bottom right where the bust ends. So your bust kind of in the cup area covers this whole part. And then at the bottom, there's this waistband to really kind of help keep everything in place. And so I love the design of this. I feel really, really comfortable in this and I would definitely recommend it. So in all of these tops, I wear a medium. So I wear a medium in this and also in the swan bra. And for the pants, I wear a size small in the shorts as well as with their leggings with these ones. I wear a size small as well. Okay, we have another couple of bra styles I want to share with you guys. So first is the Alpine bra. So it's so chic. I love the way it looks. It has this mesh paneling all the way in the front and to the top. And then the back is a classic racer back and it has some mesh here as well. So I love the way that this looks. And I think part of it is because something like this is so good to go from like working out to like brunch to like hanging out it's like athleisure but cute and i just really like that there are such innovative designs with this so this is a lot more of a high impact kind of a bra it has a lot of support and for me surprisingly i actually don't love that as much because i prefer to have something that holds me together in place but doesn't feel like i have like so much going on around my neck area and i think something like this where it's a lot more high neck it's like the halter sometimes i feel like for me it just gets to be a lot so i actually don't love the fit of this particular bra just as much simply because of personal preference. Um, I would have loved to see something like this and I don't know, like a different style, maybe not the racer bag, but that is more of personal preference. I know a lot of um, other large chested gals really, really like the way that this gives you support. And so if you want a lot of support in your workout bras, I definitely recommend checking this out because even though you feel like with the mesh, it's not gonna hold you in, this has a lot of support. And um, honest, honestly, also it looks really cute. I also have it, the Alpine bra in a slightly different style in this white color. And this one I like a lot more because in the back, it's two straps instead of the racer back. So in this pair of white bra, there's actually no matching pants yet, which I really hope they come out with. Um, but it looks really cute still paired with the black and I love the way that this looks and I think something like this is super simple to pair with like jeans and then throw on like a light jacket or something and you're like good to go. And so I love the design of this and I would just like to have the traditional alpine black bra with the same v-cut in the back for personal preferences but 
I am wearing the size medium in both of these and they fit definitely true to size. The last style I want to show you guys is first of all, um, these shorts are also in the Ultimate Hourglass uh, style and I really love this. But it's also, the matching bra is so cute. So this is the Gulch Crop bra. I hope I'm saying that right. So it's very similar to the glow bra. The difference is that the bottom part of this uh, waistband here is a lot longer and in the cup area here there's a little bit more contouring and the back is uh, not adjustable. It's just one singular strap. So I really love this style and I'm obsessed with the way that this fits. I personally would not want to have the bottom waistband be as long, but honestly with the fact that I have a larger a large chest, I just feel like it still works out. I don't have any complaints with the way that this is designed and I feel like this is so cute and this is probably one of my favorite bra styles um, that they have and I am wearing the size of medium. I also have the Gulch bra in a different color as well. This is in the color mocha that we talked about earlier and I actually really love this shade of brown on me because it feels like enough of a color where I don't feel like I'm just wearing like a neutral beige nude all over my body because I don't really want that for when it comes to uh, working out because at least on me, I feel like it gets it gets a little bit weird with like the sweat and peeking through. And so I personally love the shade of brown where it, on me, it's a lot darker. It just looks almost black, but it's not. And it gives you a kind of a nice pop of color. And the last pair of shorts I have that I want to show you guys are also these, the more of the ultimate hourglass shorts, which as you guys can tell, I really like. That is what I have from the collection that I have to show you guys. Um, overall thoughts, I feel like there is so much potential for this brand to grow in terms of their actual active wear because they have so many good things going on. And in all of the styles I've tried out, I really loved it. I love the way that they feel. And I think with every single launch, they're just continuously getting better. And they did launch a promotion during February called Find Your Fit Fair where they're encouraging you to try different things and they're going to offer you free returns so that you can really figure out what style fits for you, what sizing fits for you. And I think that's amazing. Um, so honestly, in terms of the activewear, I just feel like there's so much potential with where this brand is going to go. So to wrap this up, we are going to be talking about their sustainability rating. So unfortunately, for a sustainability rating, I give it a two out of five stars for two very simple reasons. Um, one, I would love to see some more transparency around where the materials are being sourced from, just how the manufacturing is being done. I know that for PopFlex Active, like Cassie is like a one woman show. She's like doing it by herself and she has a team, but I know that with with some of these things, it's maybe a little bit more difficult and maybe it's not top of mind, but I think that is where um, there's a lot of opportunity to bring more transparency into the supply chain. I've gone onto their website and I've kind of dug through old content and um, that's the only thing that I think I wish that I would have seen more of. It's just the transparency around the supply chain, the materials being used, where it's being sourced from and just basically like, what is it that I'm buying? Because I can look up to see the uh, the fabric composition, what it's being made of, but I want to know more. Like, I want to know, are you focused on sustainability through producing limited quantities? And so you're going to be working off of a limited edition kind of a format. Are you manufacturing in the US? Like, I want to know what's happening. The only indication that I've had from PopFlex Active that they have sustainability top of mind is actually through their uh, little packaging that uh, the fitness wear actually comes in. For example, this is the bag that my uh, Gulch Crop Bra and Mocha actually came in. And so here this says, this bag is a vegetable, corn to be exact. Plastic bags take a thousand years to decompose. This one takes 180 days. You did good, really good. So first of all, that's amazing. But the reason why 
Um, I think to me, I would like to see a little bit more with their sustainability efforts and just more transparency and communications because I'm still confused about what to do with this because this doesn't, this doesn't say that it's compostable. So I can't throw it in with the rest of my compost. Um, and I can, I throw it in the trash, but the thing with the way that trash ends up into landfills is that when it gets to the landfill, everything is kind of buried and nothing decomposes. Like for example, like a banana peel, um, a banana peel would typically decompose pretty quickly, but when it's buried in a landfill, it's going to just stay there and stay there for decades and hundreds of years. And that's the way that landfills go. So for something like this, if it's meant to be compostable, I would like to know it. I want all the details. I want all the facts. I want to feel like the brand hears that they need to be doing more on sustainability because of all of the focus on it from consumers in general, from politicians and from all of the other businesses making a push in sustainability. But I also just want to know, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, is this compostable? Are your clothes made with recycled fabrics? Are you making a push to do that? Are you limiting the quantities of how much fabric you're using? Like all of those questions are the things that I would just like the brand to tell me and um, I would be a little bit more satisfied. So that is my sustainability rating and that is all of my thoughts on the products that I have used so far. And honestly, I'm just like excited for Cassie to come out with more products because I just know that it's going to be good. I know that she's put so much thought into it. And honestly, I, I just love seeing women, especially other BIPOC women, just doing amazing things like this. And I want to support more of them. So yeah, that those are my final thoughts. I hope you guys like this. If you have any other questions on any of the styles that I have, or if you have any other specific questions on the fit or anything like that, leave them down below in the comments and I will answer every one of them. And yeah, I can't wait to see you guys back here on my channel. My name is Claire. I put out new videos every single Wednesday and also sometimes on Tuesdays or Thursdays as well. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I honestly can't wait to see you back. So hit the subscribe button. Okay, I will see you guys next time. Bye!